But right now, it's all about Bisky Brisht, which I'm very happy about. Uh, Ruby, so we've got all of the collected musicians around these few microphones here. I know some of you aren't going to sort of say anything necessarily on microphone, but at least say hello. 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 There you go. <laughs> They're a generally happy bunch, They're aren't good they? Boys. I yeah. like him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, it, it must be tricky to fit everyone in, though, when you're playing different... Va- I mean, even Foraging Witness is quite small. Was it a bit of a squeeze on Friday? Um, it was OK, because we used, we used the big room with all the wine vats, so we fit in there OK. But yeah, we, we do struggle to fit in plenty of uh, venues. We've had a, <laughs> a tricky summer, to be fair. We uh, we squeezed in the corner of the bay in Port Erin. We, um, we always manage to just about fit in Compton Vaults when we play there. But um, yeah, we, we're definitely getting too big for a stage. <laughs> yes, uh, but you, generally you did speaking, also, if generally it, speaking. If it, if it rains outside, then we can fit into any cupboard you find for us. It's fine. <laughs> we we played behind the door, didn't we? Behind the door <laughs> yes, in the bay. The <laughs> no way. <laughs> Seven piece band behind the door. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, it was I'm, fun. <laughs> w- was anyone standing immediately beside at the trumpet and trombone though? Because that would probably hurt. We were. <laughs> <laughs> I was right behind the door by the coat stand. Yeah, you were hidden from the wall every time I swung out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Trombones are dangerous, aren't yeah. they? You've got you've got to be aware of the sort of arm room that you need for a trombone. Yeah, we but... all do as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you did though. All managed to fit in into a, a sort of large pool of water for a photo. <laughs> we did. I think I need yeah. to know more about that. Well. Phil Neen, the lovely Phil Neen, sent me a message and he said, how do you feel about going underwater? I was like, oh, sounds interesting. <laughs> so um, he was taking a lot of underwater photos at the time and he thought, band photo, underwater, sounds amazing. And we were like, well, I was like, woo, yeah. And everyone else was like, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why? No. But um, I convinced them all to get in the sea with us. And um, Phil and Hannah were in their wetsuits. We were shivering away. Um, we didn't get any actual underwater photos. It was a bit murky, so I think we're going to get in a swimming pool at a later date. Oh, that would be um, fantastic. With the album name being Stand in the Sea, I was like, we've got to get some sea pics. We're on the Isle of Man. It was a fairly nice day. It looks yeah. great, though. It works, doesn't it, Ken? It does work. It does. Yeah. 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 Are you a sea swimmer normally, just checking? No, I was shaking like a leaf <laughs> by, after about 10 minutes. That was... Um, yeah. It's difficult. I'm I have, suffering. I have to admit, he's done a similar thing to me a few years ago. He, he put me in a pool in Cornet yeah. and he said, It's a really good idea, Christy. It's a really good idea. That pool at Cornet is freezing, <sighs> shall we just say. That's not the one he wants us to go in. He it's told me it was really easy. warm and toasty, honestly. <laughs> You'll be absolutely Thanks, Christy, fine. Tip off. <laughs> Phil, if you're listening, we're not going. <laughs> no, they will. They'll do they it. Will. We will. All They'll credit do to it. Phil, though. I mean, he, he does a lot for his art. That was a, yeah. That was a day where he did a lot for his art. He was there with his camera, holding it up really, really high, and he was saying, "If I fall in, don't worry about me. Get the camera." <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the camera. So this is presumably is this going to be uh, getting the, the sort of album photo? Then is this for sort of the cover art for the photo? It's not the cover art. It's more just the supporting um, social promo. media promo stuff. Yeah. So tools. so what's happening with the album then? Is it all done? Is it all recorded? So it's all recorded. It's Ooh. all produced. It's ready to go. But we're um, keeping everyone in suspense for a little bit longer. We're going to release it in February. I see. Mm. So we've got to wait for a we've little bit. We've got to wait for yeah. it. So we'll give you, we'll drip feed you single by single until you're gagging for it. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be the phrase that's clipped from this show and replayed <laughs> over and over again. Yeah, behind, behind the smile. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shrewd businesswoman. <laughs> so tell us about the recording process then. What was it like? It was a real good experience, to be honest. It was lengthy. Um, it was lengthy because we, we were doing it sort of bit by bit, day, you know, day by day, wherever we could make it into the studio and whoever could come at particular times. Um, Jip at Ballagroove was very, very accommodating with us. He was fantastic. Um, but he was also um, a complete professional because you could literally, you could go in there, um, you could do two or three takes, um, and then he would just basically comp it. It, so how, however you, you played he would always get your, your best bits which is fantastic he's a clever so, man he's, he's a, a very clever man yeah. yes it was, um, we've, we've actually found that the um, the tracks have evolved gradually as part of the studio recording so how we were playing them before we recorded is actually quite significantly different now mm-hmm. to how we play them now live and it's all kind of fed back uh, in a loop 
It's always a fascinating process, that, isn't it? Mm. And especially because a, a good training, in a way, being at Jip's recording studio, which is also quite small. So and he's got a wardrobe <laughs> that you have to sing in. Yeah. So for all those little gigs, that's good training, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. At the end of the day. And speaking of gigs then, Ken, do you think there's any uh, chance of sort of getting off Ireland with this and, and getting the music further afield? I believe that is going to happen. But I have no further information right now. <laughs> then I'm going to look at Ruby I and see found if out she'll on my digital calendar the other day. There was a date on it. <laughs> no, I didn't know. <laughs> we're, we're booked in in London um, at the end of October, and I'm hoping to get a couple more dates as well. <laughs> Amazing, because uh, the, the the music does need to get out there, and I think as well, God, you guys would be a brilliant festival band to get out on the yeah. festival circuit. It would Next go down an absolute festivals. treat. Yeah. Better watch out because yeah. we're coming for them. Good mm-hmm. on you. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, it'll be released in February. The album will be released in February. We've got the new single, Not Again, which is absolutely superb, and Thank we'll you. be looking out for another one. You are going to play another live song for us before you go, we aren't are. you? Mm-hmm. So we'll try and sort of uh, move you all around the studio again. But we were talking about other fabulous musicians. At the minute, there are so many good local artists over here. You know, later on, we're going to have Sunset Jet's new one. We've got Voodoo Bandit's new one. Uh, new music from Alex and Francesca, Alex Cal. There's loads of stuff. Ian Thompson's new one's great as well. We're all fans of Clash 4 here, we aren't we? We love Clash 4. Ooh, They're we amazing. do love Clash 4. So I, I've chosen uh, one of their songs. I hope you approve. It's out <gasps> of her box. Um, so we're going to play that now. And then uh, while it's playing, we'll set you all up again. And we'll see if we can get another song out 